A lot of the diseases start in the field. The primary inoculum often comes from the residue in the soil. We've changed our agronomic practices. It, if we look at what we're doing now versus what was done 15 years ago, our plant population has increased, our row widths have narrowed, our tillage has changed, where we're doing less tillage. So as our agronomic practices have changed, we now have increased the level of inoculum and the need for the performance of the fungicide just keeps increasing. Delaro fungicide from Bayer includes two active ingredients for higher performance, a strobilurin and a triazole. This allows for two modes of action working against diseases in corn and soybeans and also helps prevent disease resistance. The strobilurin piece works primarily on the leaf surface. It works by inhibiting electron transport and in that way what it really does is stops the spores from germinating. So the spores land on the leaf surface but they don't have a chance to form a germ tube and penetrate into the plant. The triazole works differently. It inhibits the formation of sterols which are important components of cell membranes. If it doesn't have the right sterols, the membrane becomes dysfunctional and can actually break and disrupt. I've got a cell membrane and all the, the organelles and things inside the cell are also made up of membranes. So it works at multiple places in the fungal cell. Some diseases Delaro can help mitigate for the soybean include frog eye leaf spot, brown spot, white mold, Rhizoctonia aerioblite, powdery mildew, anthracnose, and Asian soybean rust. Diseases Delaro can help control for corn include gray leaf spot, northern corn leaf blight, rust, tar spot, anthracnose leaf blight, eye spot, and southern corn leaf blight. We're usually trying to control a spectrum of diseases, not a singular disease. And that's why it's important to be able to look across the spectrum of what risk, what threats are out there, and be able to respond to those things. So even though you may have a hybrid which is less prone to infection by one disease, it still doesn't mean that you won't get a response from fungicide. Additionally, if it's less prone to infection, you can still get value from your fungicide because the physiological reaction is triggered in the plant. That allows the plant to be able to utilize limited resources better. So even in the lack of disease, there's still a value that can come from making the application of the fungicide. Application timing for Delaro is the most important component of the fungicide success, but timing depends on the type of crop and particular disease. I'd like a grower to plan an application versus react. One of the issues with reacting is if you see, my, see disease, they go, ooh, I got a disease now. Well, part of the problem is the disease is present and it's already causing some damage. So I would rather that he plans to make a spray and that ensures a more timely application and a better response from the fungicide. For instance, first time you need to consider in soybeans would be, do you have a white mold problem? If the answer is yes, now I want to spray Delara around R1 and definitely before my canopy closes because that disease likes cool moist conditions and once the canopy closes, I can't get down under the canopy where it's cool and moist. So timing is critical. The second timing is usually around R3 to R4 and that's where it's mostly about canopy preservation and that's keeping the canopy healthy and reduced and with, without stress. So stress reduction is a key piece. Diseases can be one of those stresses, but by reducing the stress in that canopy, the plant will abort fewer blossoms and pods and increase the yield potential. In corn, we're talking about spraying a fungicide anytime from say V4 when the plant is in the fourth leaf stage, fourth collar, all the way through R5, which is early den. You can spray anytime in that period. The typical timings are an early season window, and this is when you're going across the field with your herbicide applications, so it reduces the overall cost of your spray. What we're trying to do at that timing is prevent early infections. The most important timing probably is around tassel timing. So we're talking about VT, when the last branch of the tassel come out of the world, till R2, which is brown silk. That's kind of the window we're looking for. The application there is being made because your entire complement of leaves are now fully expressed. After that point in time, no new leaves come on. So if some leaves are damaged, there's no new leaf tissue to supplant that new, that tissue was damaged. So what we want to do is prevent damage and reduce the stress. So I want to be able to protect the plant early in that period so that infections can't come in, destroy tissue, and then have to live with that through the entire grain field period. So protection in that early part of that window, that reproductive window, BT to R2, that's the time to make that application. And then you get residual activity for roughly 21 days or so to keep those diseases out and prevent them from getting started early enough to impact that grain field.